Hello, welcome to this very quick video where I'm going to run through how to back up your Internet Explorer autocomplete entries and save them onto a different machine. So before we begin, let's just make sure we've got our autocomplete turned on. So that's under the COG, Internet Options, Content, Settings, and make sure all these are ticked. Just to show you that autocomplete is working on this one, just going to do a test entry. I'm going to press T, that entry is there. Alright, so we want to back this up. These are found in the registry, so make sure when you run the registry you don't run as admin, you run as the, as the user without run as administrator. So you go to regedit.exe, just click on it, do not right click it and run as administrator, otherwise you'll find you'll have permission issues saving on the new machine. So here you want to find your current user, software, Microsoft, Internet Explorer. So in here you'll see a folder called IntelliForms. Often you'll see a folder either called Storage 1 or Storage 2. But you may also find these folders are missing. If that's the case, that's fine. You can still proceed. So to back it up, right click Internet Explorer, click on Export. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Give it a name, so Autocomplete. There's my file here. This contains part of what I need, part one of two. The other part is going to be in your user directory. So if you go to your user directory, select your name, or you can go to app data, percentage, app data, percentage. We go to Microsoft, we go to protect. You'll see a folder here with your SID, so the username unique identifier for you. You'll notice this is empty, but if you were to view change these options to allow you to view uh, hidden items and protected files. You can see there's actually a bunch of files in here. So you want to make sure you copy the entire protected folder. So these two items on your new machine you want to first run the registry and then overwrite the existing protect folder on the, your new computer. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to demonstrate um, how to do that. So, for example, I'm just going to clear out my autocomplete. Delete my autocomplete. I'm going to delete it all. Okay, and now if I were to do test, my test is gone. If I double click my autocomplete, I say yes. So you may see this message that not all data is successfully written. This is not usually an issue. It's not relating to the IntelliForms or your autocomplete data. Just hit OK on that. Make sure you copy your protect folder and overwrite the current protect one. Once that's done, you should be all good to go. So you reopen Internet Explorer. I'm just going to go to my page. And you see my entries are back from before. And that is pretty much it. So make sure you copy the registry, Internet Explorer, and the protect folder. That's basically all you need. You may not need the protect folder, but for a lot of people, you'll find that they don't come across unless you bring the protect folder. And as always, don't run as administrator when you copy it, otherwise you will have permission errors. And you'll have to for you'll be forced to run Internet Explorer as an admin to be able to save any new autocomplete entries. Alrighty, hope that helped. Until next time, thank you. Bye.